because they were only available. This is a harder piece of wood. Um, and it was called treen, or kitchenware. And um, all kinds of things were made with that under that name. So um, first of all, I'm gonna just knock off the corners, put a tenon on it, turn around, and I'll, I will drill in. You, because um, it's much faster. And uh, so, So I've got to, the pole gouge here is approximately 50 degrees, so it gives it a nice strong um, and I'm gonna, and I'm presenting this okay. So I present that same angle as the as the uh, flute, and you'll be able to see how I orientate it, okay? So that, that is the flute straight up at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna present it down here. So the cutting gauge is at an angle to the direction of the wood. to the regulations. And the cutting edge is, is like that to the, to the wood. Clean that up and turn it, put it down at around four o'clock. Get the idea? Four o'clock? And I make a sheer cut. because I'm going to remove a lot of the material later. I'm using the whole bottle. so I can turn around and put it in the chuck. I don't have to smooth it completely at the moment. I'm going to have a lot of materials going to be moved, removed. So for the tin I have, this is a, a square piece of high speed steel and it has a slight angle for the grip of the jaws. Yes. 
set of syringes. In. Turn it around, take the drive cylinder out. Now I can drill it now. is already round so the bottom of my goblet is round too so that, that gives me less work to do later on. in the left hand
And when I sharpen the scraper, I, I put it on the grinder upside down, so the wheel's going like that. And I use the rough wheel, and I leave the burr on. So it's the, it's the burr that's doing for the fine cutting. The, the finishing cut, I go back on there and put another burr on it, and then just, I've got a little step here I want to take out. Down to the speed. You've got a lot of overhang for the scraper. It's side green around along here too. single bar back off the corner and if you notice this side is all rounded so you, you don't have a sharp edge and you don't damage that so that edge is all rounded that's the edge which you're putting on the on the scrap on the torus, torus. this round and <clears throat> I grind my tools slightly different to a lot of people. Most people grind the same shape on both sides. This one here which I'll pass around uh, is part ball gouge, part skew. Not skew, um, the, the, the new kind of ball, ball gouge with the wings set back. You don't always use the right hand wing for the same person as the left hand wing. So why do you I have to grind the left and the right the same. So a lot of my tools are different. Uh, did you get that one? Yeah. Okay. This one is only slightly different, but <clears throat> I find I find I can use it for two purposes. Uh, one, I've got one that was a left hand and one's right hand to grind the same. So this one I'm going to use. I put the I put the pencil on like I did before. You can see how I orientated. the front band. Tighter. To give you an idea how, how, how I'm orientating the tool. I've seen um, quite a few people in there. I'll just, I'll just take this out for a to do for this bit. Right, when they're rounding us, um, the out end, I see a lot of them, people coming with, you, it's 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Okay? I see a lot of people using the tool around 10 or 11 o'clock, going down like that, to, to on the end of the piece. The problem is, the force is pushing that down and it wants to rotate the tool. If you rotate the tool, you're going to come off the bell when it is catch. Okay? Do you follow that? If you use the other side and you go down, you're not rotating the tool away from the wood. The force is longitudinal, it's not rotational as much. As, uh, uh, later on when I do the uh, spin wood you'll be able to see that. So, <clears throat> I think it's very quite dangerous 
if you want to go down and you're using that side and the, the rotation is trying to turn the tool that way and you've only got the, that movement to counteract it. If you go the other way, the force is longitudinal and you've got the whole body behind you to keep it orientated correctly. More RPM. Okay. I'm going to make a shearing cut using the right hand wing, just like a skew. Okay. I can see the hand, see this. Can you see it on the camera? That's pretty annoying. Okay. You see, you see the way I've got the, uh, the, the, the belt here. So I'm cutting just like a skew with that right hand wing. Okay? Check the depth of the bore and then I'll start reducing this to make the spindle. I won't use a rubber bandage. That's the bottom of my hole. Okay. I'm going to reduce, reduce that. I'm going to use the one with the less acute angle to remove the material. I'm going to leave the mass here because I'm going to use that piece there when I lay it on. I got this at an angle. Same as I did for the other one. That's the bottom of the hole, so I want to at least a quarter of an inch of the bottom, so I'll, I'll start. Now I can bring this afterwards.
the bottom of the holes there, I need the bottom, I need that from this. So that could Making this up as I go along with the back there. It won't be the same as the uh, other one.
is different. <coughs> There's enough there. Okay. So now what I can do is um, turn it around. I'll, I'll sand it. I, can, I don't want. To, we don't want to sand here tonight because of the dust. You know? But to sand inside the outside and put a finish on, and then um, I can um, turn it around on a, on a block and uh, finish the back end there. I put this magnet here to, to hang on. I didn't hang it on them. Up to the shoulder. That's it. You sure? We have faith. That's what she said. One more. Piece of wood that's where that came from on the previous one.
Let's go for this. Yeah, okay. Okay. You got something? Ask what you want. I'm not holding that much there, so I have to be careful. Um, a mixture, my own mixture, which is beeswax, canoeba, and um, alcohol. So you go on the bandsaw, you, you mark it out with a pencil, I mean, what have you got that other one for? The, the other one, the, the other one? Right behind you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, I just went on the bandsaw and I held it by hand. And then started at this end and then come out like that on, on the bed. No. So it's a, it's a handy project. It'll get some experience with hollowing and also a little bit of spin, spin the spin. Okay.